Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. 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 Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing great. Welcome to the Art of Noise, and today we are working on some art. Yeah, getting towards the veneering part of the Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 uh, Custom, if you want to call it that. So, got a few things here that I've been doing. Uh, I've got some veneers that I already cut up. I got a photo cutting tool over here that I picked up years ago and I tell you this thing has been uh, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this thing for cutting this veneer uh, I could not probably cut this veneer straight uh, as this thing is doing with a ruler but this I picked up years ago and basically what it is is it's a paper cutter um, can make sure things are square with it you've got something to hold your hold your work down um you can lock it on this side and cut like a paper cutter on this this part here you stick your material inside here lock it down and it's got a roller blade on it and you just run it over it and it slices it really nice and this is what i've been using to cut the veneer it's been working great so the reason why i came across this this has been sitting in my storage unit for i don't know how many years and Years and years and years and years ago, when I was into motorcycle stuff a lot, uh, there was a uh, leather shop called Illusions. And it was right over here off of uh, Irving Park Road in Streamwood. And what they did is it was a leather shop. They sold jackets. Uh, they would custom make stuff. Um, if you needed a jacket altered, um, bags, saddle bags for your bike, custom seats for your bike. Um, they just they did everything I did a few things for them years ago with uh, drawing on leather if you took a piece of leather and you soaked it in water uh, it made it durable enough to where or, or stable enough to where you could take these tools for drawing or making different designs and stuff there was a whole set of tools that they gave me uh, I don't have them anymore because when I had stopped doing that uh, I gave all those tools back to them uh, but I used to do like an eagle on the back of a jacket and what it did is it imprinted like it was stamped into the leather and once the leather dried it stayed that way and you were also able to do like certain types of leather like browns you were able to do shading with some of those tools as well which worked out really really nice well they had a bike show years ago and I'm talking like a long time ago <coughs> excuse me and what why I acquired this was uh, I was in charge of taking pictures and I had a Canon sure shot 20 I think it was called I still have that camera my daughter uses that now for herself for like a digital camera and uh, what I ended up doing is I'd print out the pictures and stuff and I'd use this to separate the photos if they were all like four on one sheet or three on one sheet or whatever or cut the border edges off of the uh, paper from the photo and I'd use this to do it so this had some pretty good use to it and I just stored it away and forgotten about it because I didn't really need to use it anymore so now I went over by my storage unit picked this thing up so I was like well how am I going to cut this veneer what's going to make this easy for me if I try to do it with a ruler and a razor blade uh, chances are you can make it wavy um, and knowing me with my eyesight and stuff it probably would come out a little wavy this is kind of guaranteeing me a nice straight cut it's working perfect with this veneer the veneer is it's a little bit on the thick side it's not really really thin I got three sheets were all cut from the same tree um, and they were book matched and so what I ended up doing is I split where they were book matched and that gave me two long sheets and I'm using them I measured out the middle of the guitar and I'm using I slice that and it comes up with you know this is one part of it uh, the other part of it was a little bit longer but now I'm getting towards the sides and the top of the guitar I don't need to use real long pieces uh, because of the way that the woods cut now what I did is I measured from the bottom to where the neck is and I calculated what the, the center would be 
And then I got from left to right, side to side, I got the center of the body. And that puts me in an area where uh, I need to be as far as what I'm doing with this veneering. Now I saw a video of um, uh, Big D Guitars. He, he had a video showing how this one guy did basically the same thing, but he didn't use a veneer. He actually used uh, uh, a wood top, a cap, and cut it up and did the same thing, like kind of what I'm doing. His is a little bit narrower. I'm going with a three inch wide at the bottom, pyramided or triangle to the top as a point. And that gives me a half inch on both sides to calculate what the, uh, the tip is gonna be. So this is like very, very easy. Let me get my glasses. So what I'm doing is I've kind of, I'm doing like uh, one side, I'll make a piece and I'll make a piece for the other side. And I'm doing that back and back and back until I get to the top of the guitar. So I've got my pencil and I've got a ruler here. So I'm gonna mark off three inches at the bottom. And then I'll mark off a half inch at the top. Or sorry, an inch and a half at the top. And that'll give me, so I'm going real light with the pencil. And that'll give me my triangle. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting this, I can see where the cut line is from the blade going back and forth over the plastic. So I'm lining up the bottom right where that line is and I'm lining up the top right on top of that line as well. Locking it down, that's it. I would not be able to get a cut that straight. There's no way. And these little pieces here I'm gonna save, so I'll be using them for the headstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my next piece right now. Line this back to the bottom. Line that up there, line this one up here. And I have eyes in like two places when I'm doing this. That gives me my next piece. It's not burring or shredding or anything on the sides. The tip is nice, sharp point, so that'll get me the middle really nice. And that's my next piece here. So now I gotta do the other side. So I'm gonna take here, mark off this side at three inches. And I really don't have to mark on this side at all because there's already a point, or will already be a point there. So your eyes kind of have to be at two places at the same time, looking at the top and the bottom, making sure you line up for your point and your bottom corner at your three inch mark. There's my next piece for the other side. All right, so I got one more piece coming from this. Go ahead and mark my three inches here. You wanna make sure your countertop and your hands are clean for this because you can get fingerprints if you got dirty hands on the veneer and it'll show up. So this piece here is a loss. I can't really do too much with it, but I'm not throwing it away. So I got the other side. All right, I'll make a couple more here. So these feel like there are two sheets here, but there's only one. So this I'm gonna change the angle a little bit. And it also changes the pattern of the lines in the flame maple. Got my three there. And trim that off. And 
And it's very important that you get a point on this too, otherwise it's going to throw off everything on the body of the guitar. Alright, got a few more pieces of it. Got enough material right now to do that. Alright, so three here. So there's this piece here. The length of it, I don't need it to be that long. the bottom here to square this off, line up my little get rid of that little piece here. Actually this piece side here needs to be trimmed up because it's all the way all over the place. ahead and make a new mark here. So give me my three. Three. Give me one and a half. scrap material here that I can make another piece out of. Nope, not light enough, so I'm going to have to make another one here. Alright, this bottom part is more square.
that's it. Now to get all this shit glued up, clean up this mess first. All right, so right now is the fun part, putting this jigsaw together. So let me go ahead and get my next piece. And what I'm doing here is I'm lining up all the center. And then I am taking, pulling these pieces together tight, and putting some tape on them. Now I have the, where is it? I've got this stuff here, which is basically um, two hole perforated veneer tape. And what this is supposed to do is you're supposed to be able to glue the veneer together um, on the back or the top. I'm not sure if that's a, I know the glue hole, the holes are supposed to be to let glue in so that the veneer gets stuck all the way around. But you have to wet that stuff. It's got a, a piece of that is um, activated by water. The problem with it is, is I don't want to wet the veneer. And wetting the veneer is going to make the veneer swell. And then you use an iron to kind of dry it real quick. So luckily the center of this is right inside of the pickup hole for the bridge pickup. So when I get down to the last two, see that's this side, this side. When I get down to the last ones here, I have to figure out exactly uh, where, because I might have to add two more pieces here. Off the side because I'm on this side right now. So I'm pushing these two together real tight, hitting it with the tape. Alright, so right now I am basically cutting the shape of the body into the veneer right now. And uh, this is kind of the fun work of this because if you screw up, if you slip, that's it. You start all over again from scratch. And I don't have enough material to start over from scratch again. So I'm going very slowly with this. Make sure that nothing happens because I don't want to start all over again. Okay, just let this set up now. That's it. 